North Korea is all about shows of strength. The first today came in this taekwondo demonstration. The next in Kim Il-sung Square, close to the center of power, by way of a rare interview. If the US has wrecked us enough to use military means, it would mean from that very day an all-out war. Our nuclear weapons protect us from that threat. We'll be conducting more missile tests on a weekly, monthly and yearly basis. Today, the US Vice President Mike Pence was in South Korea, visiting the demilitarized zone that separates the two halves of this divided peninsula. He too was talking tough. There was a period of strategic patience, but the era of strategic patience is over. Now, President Trump has made it clear that the patience of the United States and our allies in this region has run out. But despite the posturing on both sides, the risks are limited. For the US and its allies, war would be far too costly. And North Korea's threats, although deeply alarming, are always conditional. If you could send one message to Donald Trump today, what would it be? I tell him that if the US encroaches on our sovereignty, then it will provoke an immediate counter-reaction. If the US is planning a military attack against us, we will react with a nuclear preemptive strike by our own style and methods. Tonight, although all options apparently remain on the table, the US appears to be signalling that diplomacy and toughened sanctions are now the most likely way forward. It's yet unclear how, having failed before, they will persuade this most totalitarian of states to disarm. There is strong evidence that beyond the gloom of this city lie vast political prisons, gulags, in which all dissent, however mild, is crushed. Although in his interview, the vice minister called that accusation a lie. Militarized, isolated and repressive, North Korea has the right to follow its own path and, he insisted, no one will be able to stop it. John Sudworth, BBC News, Pyongyang.